Okay, so welcome to the Miracle Prayer Meditation. Uh, it's lovely to see you here and um, thank you for joining. It's really great. Um, most amazing lesson today too that we use in this prayer. But most of all the beauty of the energy of, um, of coming together in this recognition of, of one mind, one wholeness oneness um, because that that is the energy where we are connecting with in the sense of that is right here within us so it's more we bring that to our awareness so we're not doing anything it's more you remember that it is there and um, so today there's a bit of help that we have there's a little part of an introduction that i'm going to read which is also very lovely and just yeah be open to receive it to listen to it to try not to understand it but it's totally loving and lovely given and um, so then we we are going to use the lesson 311 i think it is today um, which is also very supportive in connecting you know it's like your deepest prayer your deepest prayer to become aware that Oh my God, we're actually in communication. I can't believe it. How could I ever missed it? So that's that's the gift of today, coming together and um, meeting in this place of no cares and no worries and no anxieties. So sit back and relax and um, don't forget to breathe yeah. deeply into your belly. <sighs> and... You know, let go of what you can let go of. Release whatever you can. F allow yourself to be open to receive what has been given. Okay, so I'm going to read the introduction. Say the, the uh, in the workbook of A Course in Miracles, there are short introductions into a certain theme again. And this one is, what is the last judgment? So, and it's just lovely to, to hear it. So then lesson 311 follows. Christ's second coming gives the Son of God the gift to hear the voice for God proclaim that what is false is false and what is true has never changed. As this the judgment is in which, percep which perception ends. At first you see a world which has accepted this as truth, projected from a now corrected mind. And with this holy sight, perception gives a silent blessing and then disappears, its goal accomplished, its mission done. The final judgment on the world contains no condemnation, for it sees the world is totally forgiven without sin and wholly purposeless. Without a cause and now without a function in Christ's sight, it merely slips away to nothingness. Well, there it is, was born and there it ends as well. And all the figures in the dream in which the world began go with it. Bodies now are useless and will therefore fade away because the Son of God is limitless. You who believed that God's last judgment would condemn the world to hell along with you accept this holy truth. God's judgment is the gift of the correction he bestowed on all your errors, freeing you from them and all effects they ever seem to have. The, to fear God's saving grace is but to fear complete release from suffering, return to peace, security and happiness, and union with your own identity. God's final judgment is as merciful as every step in his appointed plan to bless his Son and call him to return to the eternal peace he shares with him. Be not afraid of love, 
for it alone can heal all sorrow, wipe away all tears, and gently waken from his dreams of pain the Son whom God acknowledges as his. Be not afraid of this. Salvation, salvation asks you give it welcome, and the world awaits your glad acceptance, which will set it free. This is God's final judgment. You are still my holy son, forever innocent, forever loving, and forever loved, as limitless as your creator, and completely changeless, and forever pure. Therefore, awaken and return to me. I am your father and you are my son. So now I'll start reading the, the prayer that we're using in this meditation. I judge all things as I would have them be. Judgment was made to be a weapon used against the truth. It separates what it is being used against and sets it off as it were a thing apart. And then it makes of it what you would have it be. It judges what it cannot understand because it cannot see totality and therefore judges falsely. Let us not use it today, but make a gift of it to him who has a different use for it. He will relieve you of the agony of all the judgments you have made against yourself and re-establish peace of mind by giving you God's judgment of his Son. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge. And so we let your love decide what he, whom you created as your son, must be. I'll repeat the last part. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge. And so we let your love decide what he, whom you created, as your son, must be. So now we'll repeat these lessons, say, after maybe four or five minutes. So you'll see.
I judge all things as I would have them be. Judgment was made to be a weapon used against the truth. It separates what is being used against and sets it off as it were a thing apart. And then it makes of it what you would have it be. It judges what, judges what it cannot understand, because it cannot see totality and therefore judges falsely. Let us not today use it, but make it a gift to him who has a different use for it. He will relieve you of the agony of all the judgments you have made against yourself and re-establish peace of mind by giving you God's judgment of his Son. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the Son of God you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge, and so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your Son must be. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge, and so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your Son must be.
Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge, and so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your Son must be. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of your, the Son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge, and so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your Son must be. I judge all things as I would have them be. Judgment was made to be a weapon against the truth. It separates what it is being used against and sets it off as it were a thing apart. And then it makes of it what you would have it be. 
it judges what it cannot understand because it cannot understand totality and therefore judge it, judges falsely. Let us not use it today, but make a gift of it to him who has a different use for it. He will relieve you of the agony of all the judgment you have made against yourself and re-establish peace of mind by giving you God's judgment of his Son. Father, we wait with open mind today to hear your judgment of the Son you love. We do not know him and we cannot judge and so we let your love decide what he whom you created as your Son must be. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining in this uh, quiet time together with all of us. That's so lovely. Thank you so much for doing that. So I'll, I'll play a song now uh, just to say as a moment still together. Um, so enjoy that and I hope to see you next time, next week or whenever we meet. Thank you so much for that.